What's up coders welcome to one little coder stable diffusion version 1.5 is out and this tutorial is going to tell you how you can use stable diffusion v 1.5 model checkpoint stable diffusion v 1.5 model checkpoint has been released by runway ml unlike the previous releases that came from stability ai in this case one of the partners of stability ai runway ml has released the model without getting into the drama that happened yesterday when the model was released keeping this video purely as a coding tutorial i would like to highlight that this stable diffusion v1.5 is a model that has been fine tuned from stable diffusion v1.2 checkpoint and um, you can see the details here how did they do fine tuning what kind of benefits they got right now this model has been released um, in hugging face model hub and then you can directly use it using diffusers library just like you did with stable diffusion version 1.4 and the, one of the things that you have to notice is um, the the this model, unlike the previous model, also lets you download the model weights. So in the previous version of Stable Diffusion version 1.4, you couldn't have downloaded the model weights. And if you had to do it, you had to have a hack. But it was not mentioned as part of the Hugging Face model hub or model card. But in this case, this is right available here you can just literally click this and then download it or you can go to the file section and then you can see that the model weights are available for you so there are two kinds of model weights that are available for you one is the 4.27 gig and this uses less vram and it is good for inference the second one is a 7.7 .7 gig and this uses more vram and it is good for fine tuning if you want to do fine tuning as well but overall to say that this model is finally out a lot of people have been expecting and there was a blog post that came out from hugging sorry um stability ai on why they did not release v1.5 or why they were taking time um, in a nutshell it was about ensuring that this model addresses all the security issues legality and all those things but you know we don't have to discuss about it at this point right now i'm going to show you how you can use it first thing go to this model hub page which i'll link it in the youtube description um when you go here for the first time you'll get a terms of services you have to agree to it first agreement then the next thing is i'm going to link this kaggle notebook in the youtube description um, which you can definitely check it out so on kaggle i'm going to create a new notebook and inside settings i've selected gpu accelerator so right now kaggle has introduced another new gpu which is a uh, Tesla T4, but I'm still sticking to the old one, which is P100. And once you accept the accelerator, make sure that you have the internet on that. If that is there, then you are good. At this point, you have to install the diffusers library, then make sure that you also upgrade transformers library, because otherwise you might hit an issue related to float or half precision, something like that. So have the latest diffusers library, have the latest transformers library. Once you have these two installed, then make sure that you have got the GPU, even though you have selected GPU here, just make sure that you have got select, you have got GPU by checking with NVIDIA SMI. At this point, your programming environment is ready for you to use. Required libraries are installed, GPU is available. So the next thing is load the required libraries. First thing, import torch, set the device as CUDA and then set a manual seed if you want reproducibility. Next thing is you have to do from hugging face underscore hub import notebook login and run notebook login and this is going to open the small model where you have to enter your hugging face token. How are you going to enter the hugging face token? Go to your hugging face website and login. After you login, click your profile, click settings, click access token. Inside access token, you might see something here already where you can copy the token, come back here and paste it and click login. So once you do this thing, you have successfully connected your Kaggle notebook with the Hugging Face Model Hub, which they use to validate whether you have already accepted the terms of services for that particular model in the first place. If you do not do this, or in case if you have not accepted the terms of services from the model page, the model downloading process is going to show an error. So if you get an error in the model downloading process, two things that you need to verify one did you accept terms of services two did you authenticate your notebook with hugging face model hub once that is done then we are going to specify the model id in this case runway ml stable diffusion v 1.5 i mean just copy the url the next thing is we're going to start coding our stable diffusion code 
from diffusers import stable diffusion pipeline we are not going to do in painting now we are not going to do out painting now we are just going to do stable diffusion pipeline the same normal thing that we have been doing for quite a while the next thing is create a pipe object stable diffusion pipeline from pre-train the model id and the precision that you are setting on um, the data type uh, which is um, torch.float16 revision fp16 and use authentication token equals true this is to ensure that when you are trying to download the model it is going to look for the authentication token that is in your current working environment which is as a result of this authentication you did the next step is convert the pipe to the CUDA in this case if you have got GPU CUDA but if you do not have GPU if you are doing it on your local machine ideally this would be CPU yeah you don't have to translate anything once that is done it's going to take some time because it's going to download a lot of models like we saw somewhere around 4 gig the next thing is all you have to do is specify a very nice detailed prompt and then do pipe of prompt and then select the first one and then show the image save the image if you want to use show the image if you save the image that is going to get saved inside kaggle slash working directory where you can download the image if you want but if you just want to try you can try so i've i've got a whirlwind inside the metaverse guy male main hologram and this is what i've got but what i was impressed with this is not this result of course this result is really really interesting but what i was interested in is looking at the next image attractive Indian female portrait blah 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 you have got a lot of details and I was quite impressed with this image um, I'm not very impressed with the color tone it almost feels like somebody tried to apply a layer of gray color um, because I said Indian female so no offense taken but I don't I don't agree with that approach but overall I really liked the image um, for me like for example the earrings are very symmetrical like you can see that there is two earrings of the same color it's not mismatching um, you can see the eyebrows are really good the eyes are very well placed the hair is very well um, the rendering is good so overall i was super imposed uh, impressed with this image super imposed i don't know why. super impressed with this image what i do not know is how this prompt would look on version 1.4 um, if you're still using version 1.4 i don't know whether at this point a comparison video is going to help but if you think um, a comparison like v1.4 versus v1.5 is going to help you let me know in the comment section i'll try to make a comprehensive comparison tutorial or comparison photo comparison video between stable diffusion v1.5 versus stable diffusion v1.4 which we all have been using all along one thing that i've seen is i i slightly feel this is faster um i'm not sure like again i didn't experiment or i didn't test it maybe the mission is really faster for me but overall this is how you can use stable diffusion v1.5 to quickly summarize the step first go to the model card accept the terms of services next um go to the kaggle notebook which i'll link in the youtube description if you want to like the video please make sure that you like it install the required libraries in this case diffusers and transformers check whether you have got gpu then import the required libraries do hugging face authentication token which is quite important next select the model in this case the stable diffusion v1.5 and then create a stable diffusion pipeline and then finally have the prompt if you do not know if you do not have a prompt all you can do is you can go to lexica.art and then get the prompt come back here paste it here and then pipe of prompt and you are going to get the stable diffusion image that you wanted to create I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you. The two links, like I said, the Stable Diffusion V1.5 Model Hub link and also the Kaggle Notebook will be in the YouTube description. Any other question, let me know in the comments. Also, if you want the comparison video, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Happy coding. Peace.